Hey guys, what is up? It's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a DIY inspired Paper Towns video, specifically sneakers. So I've been really wanting to do like a Paper Towns video for a while now, ever since the book, the movie got hyped up all over YouTube, Instagram, all that stuff. So I decided to head over on Google. I typed in DIY Paper Town sneakers and a few different options came up, specifically a seller over on Etsy who was selling some really cute Paper Town shoes. But then I looked at the price and they were like a buck fortune. So then I said, no thanks, I'm gonna DIY these myself. So that is exactly what I'm doing in today's video. Now this DIY is going to be perfect for those of you guys who either one, have to wear uniforms back to school or two, parents can afford to buy you a ton of sneakers because let's be completely real, that was my life four years ago, my parents were only able to afford to buy me one white and one black pair of sneakers. And I'm not talking about the really expensive black and white pair of sneakers. I'm talking about those Reebok classics that were two for 89 that used to lean over a period of time. So I got you guys in this video. I'm gonna show you how to DIY your sneakers. You can do this a ton of different ways. You can tie dye them. You can do them inspired by a book like I did. Whatever it is that you guys want. So be creative and use your imagination. This video is also going to be a collab with my lovely friend here on YouTube. Her name is Tana. She is also doing a back to school video over on her channel. So be sure to head over to her channel, check her out, and let her know that I sent you. Um, I mean, I don't have anything else to say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to get these really cute Paper Town inspired sneakers. So the first thing you're gonna need is some blank canvas shoes, of course. I picked mine up over at Target. They were dirt cheap. I wanna say they were maybe about 13 bucks. You're also gonna need some paint brushes and some acrylic paints of your choice. I decided to go with blues, greens, yellows, reds, and blacks to stay true to the book, but as always, you can use whatever colors you want. You're also gonna to wanna to pick up some fabric because we're also gonna revamp the insoles, which is gonna be really cool. So now that we have all the materials out of the way, it's time to get into business. So you're gonna to wanna to take the shoelaces off of the shoes because obviously we don't wanna get paint on them, so make sure that is the first thing you do before starting the DIY. After taking the laces out, you wanna pull the insole out. You wanna be very careful not to rip it. You want to just pull it very gently, and then there you have it, your insole is out, and you wanna do this on both of the shoes. One thing that I found to be really helpful when painting the shoes is to stuff it with a t-shirt that you don't really care about ruining. So as you can see, I'm just stuffing this into the shoe. This is gonna ensure that it stays up while you are painting it, and it doesn't fold, it doesn't bend, anything like that. For those of you guys who aren't super awesome at painting your shoes, I highly recommend taping the very bottom of it with either washi tape or painter's tape, so that way you don't get paint everywhere, but to be completely real, I found that it just got in my way, so I decided to be a badass about halfway through and rip it off. Just saying. Now, now moving on to painting the shoe, I decided to use a yellow color, and this is actually going to be the base color for the whole entire shoe. I applied this with a sponge tip applicator because I really love the coverage it gives towards the very middle. I find that you cannot use this towards the very edge because it's big, it's bulky, and you're not gonna be able to get into those small crevices. So that's when you're gonna go in with your smaller paint brushes and you're really going to be very precise and you're gonna get all of the nooks and crannies of the shoe. Now with this design, you can do whatever pattern it is that you guys want. As you can see, I took the yellow on the very back of the shoe towards the heel, and I painted this yellow as well. I also decided to paint the very center yellow, but then about midway through, I decided that there was too much yellow, and I decided to paint it another color, which you guys will see very, very, very soon. Once your shoes are completely dry, it's time to start spelling out the words paper towns. So I just used these iron on letters and I peeled off all the letters that I would need to create that saying on the shoe. The next thing I did, since these are iron on letters, I just placed them onto the shoe before ironing them down. So that way I could really visualize how it would look on the shoe before they got stuck. 
once our letters were in place, obviously we're gonna take our iron and we're gonna start ironing them down. I decided to just hold the iron onto the shoe. I didn't really move it too much in the very beginning because I didn't want the letters to move around and then get stuck in a place that I didn't want them. So I just did pressing motions and then once they were all stuck, I decided to just move it around just a tad bit, but not too much. Once we're done ironing on the letters on that shoe, we're now gonna move on to the other shoe. And on this one, we decided to do a pin. So what I did is I went online, I found a pin, I printed it out, cut it out, and then I used some adhesive and stuck it onto the shoe and traced it out because we're no artists and I would not be able to get the pin as neat as I did if I did not do this step. Once we were done tracing, it's now time to color. I decided to go in with the red. Obviously, this is a Paper Towns video. The pin is red, so I went in with red, and I tried to stay in the lines as best as I could, and I think I did a pretty good job. For the very bottom of the pin, I just went in with some black paint. I did very small strokes. I didn't fill it in, like, completely. I kind of wanted it to look a little bit artsy, I guess. Um, yeah, but do whatever floats your boat. Then I went in with the black paint, and this is where the artist in you is literally gonna come out, like I swear to you. You're gonna wanna try to start blending and creating shadows, but obviously I'm no artist, so this is not too great. Um, but use your imagination, be a little bit more creative, and yeah, I just did this around my pin in certain areas to give it depth and dimension. Moving on, I decided to add highlights to the pin just like the image. This is very, very simple and I also added a little bit of highlights towards the very bottom of the pin. This is the part where I said I decided to go back and add red because I thought it was way too much yellow. So towards the very center, I painted it all red. I did this on both sides on both shoes. As for the lines that were left unpainted, I decided to paint them blue on the very back and also the front. The one towards the very top, like where your ankle is, we're gonna paint that one yellow. As for the line towards the very top of the shoe, we decided to paint that red and we also painted the tongue yellow. If you guys are messy like me, it's easy to go in with a Q-tip and clean up the shoestring area because it's metal. All you have to do is just rub the Q-tip back and forth and the paint will come off. As for the insole, I decided to just place the insoles on top of the fabric that I wanted. I traced around it, then I cut it out, and then I used E6000 glue. I put the glue all over the insole, and then I placed the fabric directly on top of the insole, smoothed it out, and then I folded it over and glued it as well. And I just popped that baby into my shoe, and that was it. These are my Paper Town inspired sneakers. That wraps up today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what videos you guys want to see next. And if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe because we're trying to reach that goal of 500,000 and we are so close. We are so close. We recently just hit 400,000 subscribers and I am freaking mind blown, like mind blown. That's how mind blown I am right now. So I think I should stop. I need to give you guys a virtual hug. So this is me hugging you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do. We are growing so fast. It is insane. I honestly don't know what I've done over the past like almost a month and a half, but we have grown so much and it's insane so i just want you guys to know that i love you so so much and i'm having a local florida meetup very 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 soon so stay